My name's Jonathan Broad. Everyone who knows me calls me Jono. It's quite easy to remember. Just imagine my mother. Everything I did as a kid, she said, John, no. I thought it was my name. Uh, it's very much the same with, um, with healthcare because sometimes we come across very good people when you have a really good idea who just go, John, no, you can't. We haven't got the budget. We can't do that because it's too hard or too difficult. And actually, we need to shift the perception of we can't do to the absolute surety of we can do. And I guarantee you, we will save you money and we will make your lives better in the system for you as professionals and for us as patients. So uh, we've already done this sort of test in the room of who's who and who's here, but I want to do it a slightly different way. Um, can you shove your hand up for me if you're a clinical person? You've got a clinical qualification, you're here from that perspective? Great, I reckon that's good. If you're here from a non-clinical but commissioning or NHS project position? Oh, almost even. Okay, if you're a patient and only here as a patient, one, two, ah, right, okay. So um, in, in those terms, I'm gonna use my own things. I haven't got a nice electronical thing, but I've got this instead. Um, I reckon then in this room, majoritively, the large group seems to be the clinicians. The middle group seems to be the commissioners. And there's me and David, who you'll be hearing from in a second, uh, representing the patients. Now, personalized care, will only happen when we bring all of these people together into one place. And when we're together, that's when the magic happens because we're all equal in personalized care. It doesn't matter to me what condition you've got, how much care you need. What we've got are three people in the room with equal perspectives who can input and give to the best benefit of the patient. So really, it doesn't matter whether you're the clinical person, the commissioner, or the patient, if you're in the room to do the one thing that's the best, which is for the patient's benefit, you're in the right room. So that's why we're here. Now I'm gonna tell you just two very quick stories. Um, I'm, I'm fairly highly qualified. Like you, I've got letters and numbers after my name. Uh, one of them's A514450, that's King's College Hospital. Uh, CO2405, that's the Brompton Hospital. 185068, that would be North Devon District Hospital. Or BR44016, that would be uh, Royal Devon and Exeter. Now, one interesting story for me was when I visited on one of my very occasional tertiary visits to the Brompton. And I like to demonstrate this knowledge that I've been in healthcare so long that I know my healthcare numbers. So I went to the desk and went, hi, I'm CO2405. Um, and, and she looked at me in real puzzled way and said, you can't be. And I said, well, no, I definitely am. She said, no, 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 give me your name. It's much easier for me to find. I went, but you can find it with CO2405. It's on your system. No, but you can't be CO2405. I said, OK, look, my name's Jonathan Broad. I come from blah, blah, blah. Why can't I be CO2405? She said, all the C's are dead. <laughs> I thought, that's pretty good, you know? I'm doing all right then. And in her mind, all the patients with that category of number had passed away because most of them were cystic fibrosis, very, very unwell, like myself. I just happened to have got away with it. One of the reasons I got away with it was because for 35 years, no one got my diagnosis right. I was a big chap then, I'm a big chap now. I do not look like your normal person with cystic fibrosis. And I get away with things because of that, which is brilliant. I don't look disabled, it's wonderful. I love that. But when it comes to arguing with some people about getting the right results as a patient, I find it really difficult. For personalised care for me, recently, I uh, say recently, within the last five years, all adult cystic fibrosis care got shifted from North Devon to the RDNE, all for very good clinical safety reasons. No argument at all. However, for me as a patient, that means 115-ish mile round trip every four weeks to see four people in the same room isolated from any other patient because of the way that CF works, 
And yet I said, have you guys never heard of Skype? <laughs> I use it for my family. I use it for other friends in the CF community. Um, and it actually took, I apologize for this, it actually took my very first formal complaint against the team in order for them to shift to starting to use Skype clinics. Amazingly, after they'd done it for three months, they went, oh my God, this works. Why don't we offer it to other patients? They now have a massive saving because they don't have all the clinic rooms that they needed. They don't have all the patients traveling in, but they have a damn sight lot of happy patients who don't have to travel up and down the motorways to get to a clinic room to go, yeah, doc, I'm fine, thanks very much. My weight's okay, got a bit of a cold, but I'm doing good. So you need to start to come to a position where you guys and us as patients are willing to come together, be in partnership, and do person-centered care and personalized care. And the only way you're gonna do that is stop looking at the, the bits of a system and look at the individual. Thank you very much. I hope you guys have a great day. We're here all day. <laughs>